What is going on guys? Welcome to my dream garage. We got at least 30 different motorcycles in here and I think, I'm not going to make any assumptions, not as of yet, but I think I have access to every single motorcycle that's in here. <music> So I'm at Prestige Motorcycles. They're a motorcycle dealership here in San Diego. The motorcycle dealership is owned by one individual. His name is Nils. There's no other salesperson here. So there's no crazy upsells and um, there's no commissions to be made by salespeople. So you're buying directly from the guy who owns the motorcycle. And he's just got one employee who basically runs his uh, service department, which is over there. But um, I want to introduce you guys to Nils. And he's going to walk us through all the motorcycles. And uh, at the end, we're going to ask him if it's it's okay for us to ride any of his motorcycles and review it for the channel so uh, this would be an opportunity for you at the end of this video to participate as well and comment down below which motorcycle you want to see on the channel when we're done what's up Nils so walk me around because you got quite a collection over here how many bikes would you say you have here uh, right here, I think we probably have about 25. We Generally, we usually have about 30 to 40 bikes in stock, but uh, there's been a shortage of inventory this last year. So we, we have about between 20 and 30 in stock at all times right now. Tell me a little bit about the bikes, and uh, I'm very curious to find out what my audience thinks of your bikes and which ones they'd like me to review. Yeah, so we have a, a 2000, uh, I believe this is a 17 model, the 17 FZ07. Um, these three are not on the website yet. They're getting ready to be listed, but so I don't have this, the, the mileage in front of me. I believe it has around 10,000 miles or so. Um, this is a 2016 Yamaha R R1S. Um, I believe this one has about 11,000 miles. Um, and then this one is a 2009 R6. Um, this one I cannot remember. I think it has 14,000 miles. If I remember correctly. Nice. Um, and then here we have a 19 uh, Nikon GT. This is obviously different than everything else in here. Pretty so, radical looking bike. Yeah, I rode it and I actually liked it way better than I thought I would. Um, it's, it's surprisingly, it handles really well. Um, I rode it in a really windy day and you could take your hands off the bars. It was stable, straight as an arrow. Um, a lot of good electronic options. You have the traction control, um, you have the heated grips, you have uh, different modes, uh, quick shifter. Cruise control was my favorite part, I think, of the whole thing. I really missed that on my bike. So, yeah, much better than expected. It leans pretty good. Um, then we have another FZ07. This, again, is not on the website right now, but we're listing it hopefully tomorrow. Um, this is a 2017 um, FZ07. This one actually has really low miles. This has about 400 miles on it. This one was somebody's uh, mistake apparently they bought it and let it sit um, but uh, and then we have this bike actually already sold to a customer in Japan they just haven't picked it up yet S1000? Uh, this is an S1000R um, I've already spoken for but it's a nice bike um, then we have a 2011 uh, a GSXR 600 this Jixxer looks very familiar from my video yeah the guy who crashed oh right <laughs> but this is 600 the guy uh, the, I think the guy had a 750 okay yeah it's hard to tell the difference unless you know. I've never ridden a Jixxer before. Yeah, those are good bikes. Um, very popular. And then this is a 13, same kind of basic premise as that one. This is the 13600. Uh, and then we have the uh, 18, I believe it is an 18, yep, 18600. Uh, and then a 16600. So these are all really similar bikes, just different mods, different colors. Um, and then we have the Hondas over here. We have a, a 600R R. With 11,000, and then we have a 17600 RR, same basic bike, um, two different exhausts. This has a Toast, this one has a Two Brothers, um, this one has 2,000 miles. So Ooh, this would be a good comparison between the R6 and and uh, the 600 yeah, Hondas. They're actually really different bikes, too. I mean, you'll be able to see the difference. Um, the, the, the power band and the seating position are kind of different. Yeah. Um, and then we have a couple thousand RR Hondas. Um, and this is the new model, um, and uh, I think that has like 2,000 miles on it. I've never ridden the Honda. Honda 1000s either. Yeah, these are great bikes. A lot of good mid-range, good usable power. The 600 and the 1000 Honda I've never ridden, and the Jixers I don't, I haven't ridden either. Yeah. Don't have experience with those bikes. Yeah, those are those are good bikes to ride. Very lightweight. Um, and then we have the obvious R6s. We have the 09 R6, and then we have a 16 Special Edition, 16th Anniversary one. What's the difference between the 09 and the 16? 
Not a lot, same chassis. I mean, they've had the same chassis basically from 06 to present. Um, they've always tweaked a little bit, but uh, not a lot. They did a couple minor uh, adjustments from 2009. I think in 2010, they made a few minor computer adjustments. In 12, they did the same, um, but not a, not a lot of not a lot of changes. So just some basic stuff, colors mainly, um, a few different options. Um, as you went to the newer version, you got a lot more options. I was doing electronics. Um, I have an 04 R1, which is actually a good friend of mine's bike that's he's selling it on consignment. Uh, it's got a lot of nice mods, only 8,000 miles. Uh, then we have a good FZ, FZ6R, um, which was the predecessor to the FZ07, only with the four cylinder versus the twin on the FZ07. Um, and then we have a couple of the real popular um, FZ09s, uh, 14 and the 15. Um, and they both have relatively low miles, 9,000, 10,000 miles. Um, and then we have a, a beast right here. This is the FZ10 with the R1 engine in it. Um, yeah, I think I've ridden this bike before. Not this one, but I, I tested out a 2020 or 2019 or something. Right. Yeah, so this is the FZ, which is the same basic thing. Yeah, these are great bikes. I used to have one. It's a great bike. Um, I did a lot of coaching on the racetrack with it. Um, and then this guy here is the Volt. This is the 2015 Volt RR spec. They have a few different models. I like this. I don't have experience with stuff like this. This is a cruiser, right? It is, yeah. So this is like their, this is Yamaha's version of a Sportster, basically. So they kind of modeled after the Sportster. Very cool. Um, Very clean looking. Yeah, air cooled. That sounds a lot like a Harley too when you put an exhaust on it. Really? Does this have a heart? Does this have an exhaust? I know it's very, this one's pretty stock. Um, so, but if you did put one on, even without the exhaust system, you can still hear it's got that same kind of thumb. Nice. Um, then we have this guy here, which is the uh, the Husqvarna uh, 401. Um, so this is kind of in the wheelhouse of like a KTM 3 390 or something like that, um, like an RC 390 kind of position, but more of a cafe racer look. I love the the retro looks. Yeah, and this is something somebody did that the previous owner who traded this in actually uh, did a bunch of everything on this thing that's uh, unique looking is actually aftermarket he did this so the colors didn't come stock like this the little windscreen little uh, headlight cover the, the exhaust and the frame sliders and all that kind of it's stuff. beautiful great uh, and then we have this beast here this is a 2016 uh, uh, zx10r um, these are very cool bikes very fast unbelievable bikes i actually test with test rode this one for you yeah, you test rode this one yep. yeah so incredibly stable lots of power yeah very cool. I, I'm very, very curious to find out what uh, my fans are interested in me reviewing next. But before I even get to that, is it okay with you if I take out any bike my fans want me to take out and review for the channel? Yeah, I don't have any problem with it. Um, yeah, you just got to tell me which one it is and we'll get it ready for it. I think there's some really good bikes here, right? That we can kind of do a comparison of. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which bikes do you think uh, would be a good comparison uh, video? I mean, you could do a couple of the thousands. We don't have a ton of thousands in here just because there is kind of limited inventory, but you know, like a CBR versus an R1, a lot of people like that. Or CBR versus R1 versus ZX10R. ZX10R, yeah, so those three are kind of uh, available in here. Um, and then we have a few of the uh, middle weights, you know, we have the R6, which you know you have too, and then we have the Jixxer 600 and the, and the Honda. Um, so we have those three available. Um, you could also do one with like an FZ07 versus an FZ09. We have a lot of customers that come in that aren't yeah. in the direction to go in on that. So I kind of steer them one way or the other, depending on their uh, experience and what they're looking to get out of the bike. But but those two are kind of just one big big brother, big you know little brother kind of thing. Um, but uh, there's a, there's pluses and minuses to each, not just the, the ergonomics and the user friendliness of it. So that might not be a bad combination. But um, yeah, aside from that, I mean, you know, we right now we have a lot of the same kind of bikes. Um, earlier than in the year, we had a mixture of everything just because we couldn't get our hands on anything. But I've kind of gotten back to getting a lot of sport bikes. We have a lot of sport bikes right now, so yeah, I could see that. What what made you get into the dealership business and selling sport bikes? Because I notice here everything is used. You don't have anything new. Yeah, so we're not franchised, so we don't we aren't obligated to sell a brand. We don't have the ability to sell anything new. Um, so everything in here is pre-owned. Um, I try to focus on the things that I'm passionate about. Um, this is the kind of stuff I'm passionate about, the racetrack stuff. So I've been doing this for a long time. This is what got me into this, was going to the racetrack and, um, you know, uh, performance riding and such. Um, I ride everything, I've ridden everything, but um, they still are my favorite to ride, um, the performance of them, but specifically on the racetrack. But, you know, you can go hit canyons and have a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, but there's a lot of bikes. I mean, my daily driver is an FJ09 right now. I love that bike, great bike. 
uh, just for riding on the street, cruising around. But um, cool, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, now it's your turn, guys. I have access to everything. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. And uh, until then, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Ciao for now.